supposed to go to that other pop-up shop that I told you guys about last night with my friend Charles but I just text him and ask him if we can go tomorrow because I just have so much work that I want to get done like I want to clean up around my house I have a couple videos I need to edit just like household things so that when I go back next week I'm not feeling like super frantic and I will have like better peace of mind knowing that those things are done and taken care of and then be able to fully enjoy the day tomorrow versus if I go out today and this stuff isn't done, then I'm gonna be feeling the pressure tomorrow. I don't wanna do that, so. Plus I have a girls night later today and the pop-up shop was from one to six and the girls night dinner is at seven and I just didn't wanna be rushing, you guys. I, I just don't. I read this book recently called um, it's all about time. Well, I listened to this book on Audible and it just talks about all of the mindset surrounding time and how like we don't value it and learning to value the things that are, what does she say? Meaningful over the urgent. And I learned 
via that book that I'm a time optimist. Like I'm often trying to cram as many things into my schedule as possible when I'm just having, let me show you guys what I'm having. I'm having some of this, the Greek gods yogurt and it's the honey flavor. I think that I can get more than I can done within a certain time period, which I can, but everything has to flow perfectly. Like if one little thing is out of line, I don't give myself buffer to really enjoy those experiences, right? So if I go today to the pop-up shop with Charles, I have to literally cut him off and be like, I gotta be out by six. I have to be dressed for two different events. Like, it's too much. I would rather spend that time getting myself together so tomorrow I can really just enjoy hanging out with him and not like rushing from one thing to the next. So if you feel like you're constantly on the go and constantly you know time is always stressing you out i highly recommend reading that book it has literally changed the game for your girl within a week so i cancel for today we're gonna take care of business today and then tomorrow i'll meet up with him and then that means i have all day up until girls night so i have two videos i want to film today i want to film a like a collective haul so like a target um slash walmart mostly Target. I went to Ulta in the last week or so. I ordered a ton of shit off Amazon in the last couple weeks. And I got some stuff from DSW that I'm going to show y'all. So at first it was going to be an Amazon haul, but it's turning into a collective haul. All right. And then to top my yogurt off, I'm going to use these. I got these at Walmart. They're like actually salad toppers. Let me show y'all the bag. Yeah. They're Orchard Valley Harvest Salad Toppers. But this is, this is the bag. And although they're salad toppers, they are really good, you know, to put in my yogurt. I've been enjoying them in my yogurt. I normally add grapes as well, but we're out. So we're just gonna use these and there we have it. If this was plain yogurt, I would add honey, but I'm not gonna do that because it's honey yogurt. And then for drink, I'm just gonna have some of this Florida Naturals grapefruit juice. And that's my breakfast for today, guys. It's definitely later, but we're headed to run some errands, and this is what I am wearing. This black tank top is from Zara. These Barker shorts are from Discovery, and then I just have on some Crocs that I just bought from DSW. I'm gonna quickly drop this load of just like bedding. It has my um, pillow shams and stuff in there. Just put that in the wash, and then I am wearing this bag from Target. That's it. No shades, no accessories, anything, because we're just going to run in and out. Um, t I just texted Tay and asked him if he's coming for lunch today, but he's not, boo, um, because he's the only one like working at the gym today. So I'm going to go to Mariano's, probably grab him some lunch and just pull up on him, make sure he eats today. And by the time I get back, this laundry should be done and we should be ready to film. So I have a different little setup today because I really wanna try filming with the natural lighting. So we gonna see how that goes.
Hey y'all. So it's been a couple of hours. I have filmed. I took Teja's lunch. Um, I filmed two videos. I cleaned everything. Now I need to go ahead and just clean up my workstation. And then I need to go ahead and get dressed and ready to go soon. So I took a shower. And here's a little trick for you guys. I did my makeup because I was filming and then I took a shower to let it like settle in and it just gives the perfect amount of radiance before you even leave the house pro tip so yeah I am going to just clean up my workstation so I don't have to come back home to a mess and then we're gonna get ready and go meet the girls dinner is now at 8 45 it went from 7 to 8 to 8 45 so it's good because it gives me time and I am not rushing for once. So yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and clean up my station. As you guys can see, it's looking a little crazy there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that together. All right, guys, I'm officially heading out and this is the outfit. So this is the dress that I got at that pop-up shop yesterday. And I think I showed you guys the back, but that's the back of the dress. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these shoes that my sister gave me a couple of years ago. I think they're from Public Desire. Um, bag is from Shein. Shades are from DSW. And earrings are from Forever 21. So yeah, that is the outfit of tonight. And we're off. So we made it to the restaurant, guys. And I'm getting ready for the order. I'm still not sure what I want to get yet, though. So wait, you said this had like a red sauce? Sunday and I am getting ready to go to the gym plan is to go to the gym I have some errands I need to run I, need to, I have to return something at Ross which I don't know why I even bought it it was like this two-piece set but I know that I've outgrown that style that hasn't been my style for a while all right got our lip balm sunscreen lego all right, y'all, quick outfit check. This is my outfit. What is going on here? Let's fix that. This is my outfit. This um, entire suit or set, this entire set is from Shein. Shoes are Adidas and absolutely filthy, but they're comfortable. Bag is from Forever 21. Tumblr from Amazon. Shades from, I think, Forever 21. Earrings, also Forever 21. And then this is just my tripod so that I can film some workouts for you guys. But yeah, let's head out. painless so now we're gonna head to the gym i'm deciding if i want to go to planet or la 
because Planet is literally right next door. I don't know. I need to make a decision sooner than later. Let me see if I can prop you guys up. Y'all, I have been sitting in this Ross parking lot scrolling on Instagram and TikTok absolutely avoiding going to this doggone gym. So this is what avoidance looks like. I need to just get going or else it's not gonna happen. So I am dragging myself to the gym today. Oh, I wonder, like, can anyone else relate? This is why I have to go in the morning because once I start my day, that burst of energy to, or will to go just be, it's non-existent, it's non-existent. I hear they say your will is the strongest in the morning. So that's why I really just need to make it happen. But we're going, we're doing it. So I will see you all there. Forever 21. Love it. It has been through many, many seasons with me. Um, this is a bag that you guys are going to see or have already seen in my DSW haul. And then for shoes, I just have these slides, which I think are Forever 21. Jewelry, I think it's Target. Shades are Nordstrom Rack. Watch Burlington, I think. So I got my water, my keys, headphones, and we're just going to go. I'm getting ready to go pick up Miali and head to the second pop-up shop this weekend. Well, do you, you probably shouldn't say that here. Well, I'm supposed to be going to see Little Yachty and I need my sister to take me to see if the tickets are there, long story short. So I can see Don Tolliver and Uzi, not Yachty. But Yachty's the connect to me getting tickets to go see Don Tolliver and Uzi. So she's about to be the best big sister in the world. So first I can all, go- First of all, check she's late to the pop-up. Second, <laughs> she made fake dinner plans, like asked me to get lamb chops for dinner and now she's do you want to go on an adventure to get these tickets and i'm not coming to dinner or the concert <laughs> i love you though <sighs> anyway the pop-up was successful i'll show you guys what i got why would i have socks niali it's it's august i'm wearing sandals do something 
Well, why do you need them? Doesn't he have the car? I mean, my house keys. I mean, it doesn't sound like you're going home. I'm not. So yeah, this pop-up was cute. Yeah, nice and friendly. I met some cute, you know, some nice people. How would you end up spending? Too much fucking money. Well, it's good we're not getting food. Hold that. I did, and I ended up spending too much money. I didn't even want to say. The shirt, the heel shirt was $30. Yeah, I saw that. Then the, um, the brooch. Did I, forget I think. Deodorant? Do you have deodorant? No. I'm sorry. Another thing I don't have. <laughs> Actually, normally I do carry it in my big purse, I know. but I don't it have my needs big to purse. Be, today. We need to, we're near something that has. We need to stop. There's an Ulta. Okay. Ulta has deodorant. But yeah. And I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so the, three, heel, the heel chair was thirty dollars. Then I bought that oh um, Chanel necklace and the brooch. That was like sixty dollars, so that's ninety dollars. You and got then three earrings for twenty. The that entire collection was like one sixty. That's not bad. She got three dresses and accessories for one sixty. Like Which the, she told me the total order was like two eighty something. So you got a hundred dollars off. Yeah, but it's more than I came to spend. And I came to spend zero. I got a bikini for twenty bucks from XOXO. Diana. Because she walked in, it's her fault. I spent it <laughs> because if she was here, I would have made my one little round in twenty out. minutes and walked out. But I had to stay there the whole hour with these talking, people talking to people. To me. I had to get something. And then you know, whatever. Even if I don't feel the stuff is all the way worth that, they're small so businesses exactly. and they're black businesses. So and they're hardworking women and they deserve it. Yeah. They're a good saleswoman. So they were. And I love the sister dynamic. Yeah. It's like a pair of sisters. And then the other girl was just like good vibes that I bought from. And I tried to buy from another girl. It's a good thing I didn't. But she wasn't there. Hmm. Like I went back, the earrings that I saw. And my first round were gone and she wasn't there. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I got whenever I get home. But you have to tell me where the hell we're going. Cause okay. this seems like All right guys, I am home now. So I figure I'd show you what I got from the pop-up shop. But this dress is one of them. So it's just a maxi dress. It has two splits on the side. And the length is actually pretty nice. I am 5'2", and normally I have to get my dresses hemmed. And it has, you know, a v-neck detail. It's a little loose here, but I think... Oh, no. And the, the straps are not adjustable. I thought they were adjustable, but they're not. So, yeah. That's the first thing that I picked up. And I was actually going back and forth about this dress, so I'm kind of glad I ended up going with it super cute okay right, guys the next thing that i picked up was this dress which let me scoot back so you guys can get the full effect but it is absolutely gorgeous definitely can't wait to wear this on vacation somewhere i love the detail on the sleeves and it's just super super pretty um yeah love this and then the last piece I got is this two-piece set, which is super cute. It has, you know, these pants that you can wear separately. And then this top, which I think is just so, so cute. And right up my alley because of the earth tones. What is the brand? Urbanly Chic. I will have their Instagram or website and stuff linked and the pieces that I picked up linked in the um, description bar. And then I also picked up a couple of jewelry pieces from them. Just two pairs of earrings that I'll quickly show you guys. I picked up this pair of just, you know, regular studded hoops. You guys know gold is my color. And then I picked up these larger hoops. 
they are just they have a little weight to them they're really really nice so i picked that up and then um she was running a promo of um buy two get one free and niali i gave niali the other pair so we got that and then she threw in a free mask which is good because it seems like we're going backwards with this delta variant and I got two other things from a different brand that I'll show y'all. All right, so I ended up getting some jewelry from this other boutique. And this is just a gold-plated, um, and it has the Chanel logo on it. So I got that. And I also got a brooch that I thought was really, really cute with the Chanel logo on it. So I got that. That's everything that I got for myself. And then for Tay... They didn't really have that much stuff for men, but there was this brand um, called Uncursed. And her brand is basically um, based off of healing like generational curses and generational traumas. So I thought this shirt was so just cute and so inspiring. So I got it for Tay and it says healed. I'm probably gonna steal it and wear it at some point. And then this is the brand, the brand is Uncursed and yeah just talking about breaking generational curses so i thought that that was cute the pop-up shop was really cute i'm definitely glad i went i'm glad they reached out and you know invited me and i got some pretty good stuff met some cool people so yeah both pop-up shops i went to this weekend were successful even though i didn't show you guys the stuff i got from the first one definitely was successful you'll see one of those dresses in my um girls night get ready with me everything i got was good one of them was going to be my birthday dress so i'm not going to show y'all just yet but just know you know the pieces were good and i think the name of that um brand is called revolving collective i'll find it and link it below so you can follow them as well but yeah guys that's going to be it for this vlog i'm about to go make dinner with tay we're having lamb chops and kind of just chill out because I've been recording and editing all weekend long. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you beautiful people in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, follow your girl on socials and see you all next time. Spooches. Give, give.